tonight. From Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the Las Vegas Raiders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they've been flawless all year long as they hit the home stretch at 13-0. And now they just have to guard against complacency. You still got to go out and earn it every week. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. And as the Raiders take over on offense, we get to see the man who has been the leader of this team for nine seasons now under center Derek Carr. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over course of the season and let's face it he'll never blame the receiver publicly but behind closed doors he probably told his agent hey what's the deal I should have had a perfect game a check on Jacobs from a week ago 17 carries 80 yards oh, that's a very nice winning streak that they're on and they've really seen this offense come into its own as a unit and one of the keys is that the ground game has been established and it's keeping the defense honest near the line of scrimmage sometimes at least a huge games for him other times, he plays a complimentary role to someone else. But however it's getting done, they're winning week after week. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Now Carr. And he'll find Moreau here. And he'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Jones on the return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Patriots take over. A time for Mac Jones and his Patriot offense to take the field. Jones now in his second season since being selected 15th overall in 2021. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Jones in the Pats now with a first and 10 at the 34. Throwing Jones. Open man right side, Myers. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. A second and one forthcoming. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. There's a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. A gritty play there. Put his nose down and got his guys a first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Now Jones. The 
action here with Nelson Aguilar. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. One rushing touchdown, yes, but look at the rushing yards. He was up near 200. The one phrase I'd use to describe that performance, he carved up that defense. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he fights forward for about his two-yard gain, second down. Well, this offense, Charles, what we've talked about, how well they played all season, sitting now at 13-0 and a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some in the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. Of course, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, it was something like four of the last six wins were one possession games, and they played like a team that was trying to protect something instead of chasing something. And that's what happens when you have an undefeated record. So it behooves you as a team, get a couple blowouts in there so you get a chance to relax and breathe. But that's much easier said than done. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 17-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Patriots are on the board first here in Vegas. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to a meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? And I think when you talk about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. And this is going to be the Raiders' first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Car now on first down. Slant to Adams. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, make it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Now Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he believed. And it's second down. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. On second down, Jacobs. And that one blew. As he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. So Carr exits on fourth down, and on comes Daniel Carlson for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 37. The kick by Carlson is good. And they're on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would take it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the game. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year, but you think this game their toughest test yet. I absolutely do, because to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run, so this game is crucial. From the 36, Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that's going to be incomplete. Try to take a shot, but it's third down start dropping his first target but let's face it it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris that will be tackled about two yards shot in the game a one yard pick up leads to fourth down he may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle but what he lacks in size he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well with their tight end on fourth. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, on the defensive side, that is so deflating. Not only is it deflating, they've got to look in each other's eyes on that side of the ball and take each other's measure. You've got them backed up, perfect situation. And what they said to you on the other side is, we don't think you can stop us. Went ahead and got it in that position. That should never happen. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a running play here with Smith. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, Jones. But well, look at that catch by Henry. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down. It's a gain of 12 on fourth. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader, and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Now this time he'll look to throw. And he rifles one incomplete. 
Well, it looked like he marched to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they get their offense back on track. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 18-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Janu Smith, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense too. That's a great point because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. On for the extra point is Folk. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And a nice play on the end of it, an 18-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing Scott. Well, we don't see that often. He just missed hit it, and he goes back out. I know I'm sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Is it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, that's a costly miss hit, and now you're the team in a spot. And he gets us to the other side of midfield. The 45 or going out. And they want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. To throw his car. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense. Under pressure, and they got to him again. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's got back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. After one, a 14-3 ball game. First and second down were a disaster. Both went backwards. Now it's third and 18. They need something big. Throwing now is Carr. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. On the return is Jones, and right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. It'll be a 39-yard punt, give him a good 10 yards on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. New England's offense set to go. And Charles, no two ways around it. Anytime you get the current number one and number two seeds in the AFC playing each other this late in a season, it's a big game. It is definitely a big game, and not just for seeding and placement and such, but for trying to establish yourself as a team to beat. You want everyone else in the league to look at you and say, boy, it's going to be tough to knock those guys off. And it is incomplete. Good positioning downfield to break that one up. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the give, this is Harris. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up. And we'll break that one soon. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. 
Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They hand this off to Harris. And he's got some space here. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Back to throw. Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. They make a good bit of that yard back as they're set up in much better shape now for second and goal. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Damian Harris, touchdown number 15 of the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up CD. That now 15 for him on the year. And give him a ton of credit for staying healthy, being a smart runner, and is showing just how important he's been to his team. He's got to be their MVP at this point in the season. And those votes may even turn into league MVP votes when it's all said and done. Now Folk for the extra point. Twenty-one to three. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line the offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive it's been very much a slow start for them three drives and just the three points CD yeah if you're into the points per drive ratio that answer is one and that's not going to get it done in a ball game they've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones not having balls go through goal posts here's Carr Working the middle here, that's complete to Moreau, the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. This is Brown going up the middle. It's a seven-yard carry them up with a second and three but no matter how they phrase it staying on schedule staying ahead of the sticks whatever you want to call it seven yards on first down that fits the bill right back to brown and he stopped after a gain of one not enough still a yard to go on third down i know the speed is the hallmark of today's nfl game but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge They'll run on third down with Brown. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. An inside give, Brown. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. From midfield, here's Carr. Catch made, it's Moreau. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Carr to throw. And complete. This is Albert Wilson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Now Carr. Incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Carr completes it. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Carr. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Receiver and he's brought down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. That one complete to Horstead. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. So Carr will depart, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson, for the field goal try. He hit his first. Now this from 43. The kick by Carlson is good, and that put the deficit down to 15. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Offense returns to the field. There's the running back to Bruiser from Alabama, Damian Harris. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Harris. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 74 yards for him. 
on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. From just shy of midfield, Jones. And this is Parker, complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now a first down carry for Harris. Jabari Zuniga with a stop. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run again with Harris. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the third. job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Third down gain of three yards, and so that'll be enough. Now a man who played in Centennial High here in Las Vegas, Ramondre Stevenson. and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So, so three seconds here remain in the half on the field, field goal unit to see about getting three points. From, from the left hash, this for 39. to our EA Sports Halftime Report. You get caught up on what's, what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up in the Pacific Northwest at the Lumine Field in Seattle. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. DK Metcalf, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we head east to Minnesota to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Matt Ryan, excellent in the victory, as, as it's one that pushes his guys two games above 500. And then lastly, we wrap up week 15 on Monday night. What a battle this will be. The Rams and Packers from a very chilly Lambeau Field. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team. Of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Taken in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Here's Harris. He takes this for three to the 29. And 
That's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Checking this down to Stevenson. And he gets this up across 35 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure that luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 38 yard line, second and nine. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 97 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. He's got it complete to Aguilar. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 35-yard line. This is Harris. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Off play action. Jones. And that is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open walk beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Harris running straight ahead. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Jones now. Off play action. A bullet throw, but incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Folks, kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Now a first carry for their fullback. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. To throw, it's Carr. And he finds his... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Inside the 20. Well, these.
these guys wanted to get back in this game. They needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. And the Raiders are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 18. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Carr going to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. From the 45 on second down, Carr, and he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Here's a give to the fullback. That's Johnson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Operating from the gun. Carr. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Carr. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Lawrence Guy in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Going deep here for Parker. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. A big play there for New England. 44 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They run again with Harris. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Jones keeping it on the snake. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. One yard is the gain, and it'll give the Patriots a first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. 
He'll dump this down to Stevenson. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They run with Harris. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On the give, this is Harris. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And even 150 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Again, it's Harris. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. And he'll just get rid of it. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. Throwing again. Carr. The throw finding its target. The tight end, Horstead. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his car on third down. Caught. It's Wilson. And he is the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Shotgun now for Carr. Looking left sideline incomplete. They lead big and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and five. Back to throw again. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he completes it to Wilson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. 
Now Carr. Over the middle complete. It's Johnson. And he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Now Carr again. There, down he goes. Jawan Bentley is going to get in and finish off the play. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, and they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Car. And this is going to be incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five. And now the ball's out. Car lost it. Fumble. And the Patriots have it. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing Jones. Now he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They hand this off to Harris, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Jones. And it's caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson from six yards away. And the Patriots are closing in on a 14-0 record as they extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Folk. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Here's Jones throwing on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime bet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Handoff to Harris 
to begin the drive. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right midfield at the 50. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because, remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. you got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Harris. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. First down, and they go back to Harris. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So for the Patriots... They move ever closer to the perfect regular season as they run things to 14-0. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, it's a loss that could hurt come playoff seeding time as they fall to 11-3. And, and they'll be on the road next week as they travel to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers.